I don't want to start off so dramatically, but I may not be exaggerating. If you have your cassette tapes stored away outside, please bring them inside yesterday. See, even though they may be in a dry container, well, given enough time, they may still experience degradation, and no matter how hard you try, you may not be able to restore them. Whether you follow these instructions now or later, at least get them inside today. Once you're ready to unlock those precious memories by making them digital, they'll shrink to a tiny space like a thumb drive, external disk drive, compact disks, or you can share them or even store them online. We'll see what awaits you here on Simple Cafe E, tutorials straight to the point. So what you're going to need is one of these to get your tapes into your computer. This is a converter and you can find it in the description for Amazon or right here. It's this simple. The tape's audio and video signals are coming in here as analog signals and the key is that they will be changed to digital signals, which can be transferred through a USB cable right into your computer. See how it isn't too complicated to get tapes onto a computer? So now you can go out shopping for yours. It may be tough to find because they go by many different names, but you should be fine looking up AV to digital capture device. Stay tuned if you have a Mac to see just how easy it is to complete the process. Unfortunately, I don't have a second computer with Windows on it to show you those last steps. But anyway, on the Mac, here we go. Go to your VHS player, or in my case, a camcorder, and make sure that it's set to playback mode. Now, get your computer ready by opening the QuickTime Player app. You can find it in your apps folder or press command and spacebar. There you'll be able to type QuickTime and it'll come up. Once it's open, the finder window will appear so that you can pick a movie file to play. But that's not what we're up to right now, so just close it with cancel. Huh? Well, this looks weird. Now what? Well, see that QuickTime player is actually still open? Yeah. Up here, select File, then New Movie Recording. Your computer camera will appear, and you don't want to record yourself as the movie though. The thing is that the source for recording at the moment is defaulting to the FaceTime camera. Well, that's not the source we want to record from, so let's change the source right here next to the Record button. If you don't see anything other than FaceTime, disconnect and reconnect the USB cable. And if that doesn't fix it, well, hopefully just quitting and restarting QuickTime Player will help. Okay, trying again here. On the little drop down arrow next to the record button, you should see the name of your converter or a USB option. Now you're set to hit play on your player, whether it's a camcorder or VHS player and see it mirroring on your computer display. Now it's up to you to hit the record button whenever you're ready. But first, notice that there's a microphone option here too. Change it to USB also, if it isn't already set to that, so that you can capture your tape's audio coming from the USB, right? All right, get your footage ready at the right starting point by fast forwarding, rewinding, etc., and pressing play on the tape. Once it's started, go to the QuickTime Player window and click Record. And now the capturing is in effect. Watch along as it's being saved because you have to let it play through. You should know that the app continues to record until you stop it yourself by hitting the Record button again. Then the recorded footage window will actually remain open. And if you need to trim anything to cut out what you don't want, well, this is how easy it is to trim it to your liking. Once you're satisfied with what you've got, finish by saving it as a file. You can simply close the QuickTime Player window and you get the save window. From here, look at that. You just have to give your newly captured video file a name, and like any other computer file, you can easily move it around to other storage mediums. Even your phones. If you have an Android, well, transfer them as you're used to with your other video files. And if you have an Apple device, right click and select AirDrop to send it to yourself or another one of your devices. Now the cloud is the limit. 
I hope I was able to help you, and if you want to return the favor, you can like, share, or subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.